All right, so it's been a year. I have had my Nissan Leaf for a year, which is amazing. You know, when I got the car and I started making these videos, I was doing it just as sort of a documentation of, of what it was like to buy a car, um, of what it was like to have an electric car, of what the experience in the Leaf was like, especially around here. And so now a year later, here we are making a new video and I want to cover what my overall experience has been like for the last year and, you know, a few things that I've learned along the way. The first and most important thing that I want to say about my experience with my Nissan LEAF is, is this. I completely believe in the future of electric cars. I think that when I bought the car, there was a couple things that played in. Um, I love the idea of electric cars. For my needs and how far I was driving every day, it made a lot of sense. Um, the economics of it made a lot of sense. And, you know, of course, I love the idea and I love, I love the thought that maybe the future could be electric cars. But a year ago, it was a gamble for me. I didn't know what the next year was gonna be like. I didn't know what my needs were gonna be. And so for me to switch to an electric electric car while cool um, and, and super fun, um, it was always a little bit of a gamble. But it's paid off really well, and I can tell you 100% that it is my opinion that the future of cars is definitely the electric car, especially with what we've seen you know, over the past six months now from Tesla. Obviously, the Model 3 production has not gone as planned, um, or maybe it's gone totally as planned and, and we just haven't, you know, we, we weren't given all the information. Um, but you know, there's not as many Model 3s out there as we thought there would be. I will tell you that I started looking at, at you know, buying Teslas. Um, I'm probably gonna pre-order a Model 3. I haven't done it yet. I probably should. I should quit putting it off because, you know, the time to get one is gonna, gonna be more and more. Um, the unveiling of the semi-truck and the Roadster both seem incredible. Just everything Tesla-wise seems to be, you know, going in the right direction. Uh, I was looking at used Teslas, especially on Tesla site. I don't know if anybody else does this. You know, they look at what inventory is available on Tesla site, but around Christmas time, they were they were gone. There was no Model Xs. One or two Model Ss would be available. Um, so you know, people are buying these cars all the time. I've noticed around just my neighborhood, um, I used to see one or two Model Xs around town. There was a lot of Model Ss around town, but now. On a daily basis, I'm seeing uh, six to 10 Model Xs. Uh, I'm seeing lots and lots of Model Ss. So, you know, electric cars are taking over around here. There's a lot of Chevy Volts. I see a lot of Nissan Leafs on the road. There's a lot of, there's a lot of people who are, who are taking on electric cars as their daily driver. One of the more interesting aspects of the Leaf that I'd read a lot about before buying one, uh, but was never quite prepared for, and you can even go back and watch some of those early Leaf videos I made um, to sort of see me come to terms with it, was the seasonality of the Nissan Leaf. There's a lot of stuff out there about, about what the car is like to drive in different seasons. I have had plenty of, plenty of experiences where I'm, I'm always surprised at just how much the seasonality plays into the driving of the car. It does really, really well in the weather here. In general, when it was really hot, I never had any issues. Um, I would see some, some battery fluctuation. My range would change day to day based on where I was driving, but overall, no real issues. I should also add as a caveat here that I was not doing my normal daily drive when it was super, super hot here in, here in the Dallas area. I ended up having to basically drive a lot farther on a day-to-day -day basis for um, about two months. And as such, I was driving my wife's car almost every day. I was driving the Honda and she was driving the Leaf. So it was actually kind of fun to switch back and forth in the middle. But, you know, the thing that we learned is that in this heat, um, just as a daily drive, you know, not going really far, we never saw any issue with the car at all. That said, in the, in the cold weather, completely different story. Um, especially the past few weeks as, as we've had, you know, sort of cold snap and then back to relatively normal temperatures and then cold snap again. I've dealt with a lot of battery issues. It's, it's not, you know, it's not like it's making it undrivable or anything like that. I want to be clear. It's still an incredibly useful car. And if you drive it right, you're never going to have any real issues, you know, with the weather. But, you know, what I've seen is, is a definite 
decrease in range and in, and in some cases just the efficiency of the battery use is noticeably different obviously if you're running the heater and the seat heater steering wheel heater radio bluetooth any of those you know no, those features in the car you're going to have an issue with the efficiency of the battery and you're going to see a little bit of a range decrease the other thing that comes up in the cold more than any other season is the inaccuracy of the range estimate on the dash that number drops way too fast when it's cold which i understand that that is just an estimate you know it's not it's not a guarantee or anything like that um, the battery percentage is a much more accurate number for for driving the battery percentage tends to stay very close to accurate but that range estimate really really fluctuates in the cold it's very interesting there is one problem i run into more than any other problem with the nissan leaf and it is a surprise to me especially because of the type of person i am but my biggest issue the one thing that causes me more problems with the leaf is simply forgetting to plug it in at the end of the day. I know that sounds really dumb, but it has bit me in the ass five or six times uh, to the point of where I've, you know, had to switch cars, my wife has had to take it, um, or, you know, even I ended up stuck at home for a day simply because I wasn't able to charge the car. Stuck at home, I guess. It is so funny, you know, if. It is a hard habit to break after driving uh, a gas car for so long just to be able to think you can jump in and go. That switch in mentality of an electric car, um, it really is a switch. It really is a habit you have to find. Luckily, over the past uh, few months, it has turned into a chore for my two-year-old son. He loves plugging the car in. So we tend to remember every night to plug it in now, but it is weird that, you know, that's such a it's such a necessary thing. Obviously, the car isn't gonna run if it doesn't have battery, and forgetting to plug in the battery seems like such an obvious thing. But, you know, in just normal life situations, you know, you come home at the end of the day, you wanna move on to something else, you wanna run inside, you gotta make dinner, you gotta see your kids, you got work to do, you have things you have to get done. It's super easy just to jump out of the car and run inside, um, you know, and then it's 10 o'clock at night, you're in your pajamas, you're, you're binge watching something on Netflix, you know how people do, uh, and you just forget. It happens more often than I'm willing to admit. Um, you know, I've set up reminders on my phone, uh, my kid loves plugging it in, so not as much of an issue now, but it is funny how that was the biggest issue that I had for a long time, um, and it's still something that, that haunts me, and I think about it all the time now, so uh, yeah, don't forget to plug in your electric car. There's one other thing that I think about a lot in terms of, of my Leaf. This is just because of what I do and, and my needs, but when I bought the Leaf, I was going back and forth between a diesel truck and the Leaf, which I know sounds absolutely crazy, but I actually do move a lot of stuff um, and I need storage space and I need to be able to haul a lot of stuff. Um, I ended up going with the Leaf for the economics and for this for the stuff I've said already before of feeling like I wanted to try to be a part of the future or whatever um, you know and doing something different cool but in general because of my business and because of my company and the amount of of stuff that I haul around of of taking packages to the post office of shipping of receiving product there's just a lot of putting things into a vehicle and moving it around um, more than the bed of a truck's worth. And I go back and forth constantly about whether or not I should have bought that truck. Um, I still think I need a truck for the business. I still haven't bought one. Um, you know, today I, I was moving some cardboard around and taking it to uh, the recycling center here in the city. Um, and I actually filled the leaf up and it worked out pretty well. But I still have a lot more to do and I don't know. Uh, I get targeted by ads on Facebook for trucks all the time. It's pretty pretty clear that I'm always looking for one. Um, but I think what's interesting and, and what's what's fun for me is that I'm constantly surprised by just how much I do get out of the leaf and, and how much stuff I can fit in it and how much I'm able to do with it, which is why I've never caved in and, and bought the truck like I've thought I've needed to for so long. In terms of storage and in, and in terms of moving things around, I, I really do give it an A+. Plus. Um, you know, you can kind of see around and behind me that, you know, I 
it's got a lot of headroom it's got so much space and I don't know sometimes I feel bad that I don't use it right so anyway that's just a me related thing that's kind of weird but in general I you know I, I always wonder if I, I should have bought that truck and more and more I'm finding that I, I, I probably did the right thing <laughs> So that's it. One year in a Nissan Leaf. I'm, I'm so happy that I bought this car and I'm, I'm so happy with the experience so far. Um, I can't thank you guys enough for watching this video. If it's your first time here, thanks so much. If you made it this far into the video, definitely, definitely hit that like button and subscribe. Tons more video coming your way. Um, super happy to be back making these videos. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.